All right, what's up guys? I'm here with my friend Junior's 2011 Evo X. Today we're replacing the two front rotors and pads and uh, we're gonna guide you guys through the whole process. First things first, you're gonna wanna loosen up your lug nuts. All right guys, so go ahead and remove your wheel to gain access to the rotor. Just turn the wheel to the right. All right guys, so we're gonna take off these two bolts, one on the top right, right up there, as well as the top left right there, so we can uh, hang the caliper and uh, the brake lines won't get in the way. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. Now we're gonna remove the two 17 millimeter uh, caliper mounting bracket bolts, one at the top, one at the bottom. All right guys, now that the bolts are removed, we're gonna go ahead and remove these two pins right here, which hold in the brake pads. They're also gonna release this uh, metal spring right here. To remove the pins, go ahead and put like a bit on the end of the pin and hit it with a hammer and it'll come out the other side. Push this in. There you go. Let's go ahead and pull that out. And metal spring is released. Now we can go ahead and pull out the whole caliper assembly off the rotor, our two pads. <laughs> there are two pads. Go ahead and kind of just hang leave, it there. Just leave it up there so not putting any stress on the lines. And here we have the rotor exposed. On to the next step. All right, guys. Now we can go ahead and remove the rotor. There you go. So here we have the new carbon rotor, as well as uh, the Gyro Disc Magic Pads, racing pads right there. Just using some brake cleaner here to clean off the surface of the rotor before putting it back on. All right, guys. Now the new rotor is back on, let's go ahead and tighten up the two bolts in the back, the caliper mounting bolts. Alright guys, we're just using some lubrication here to lube up the brake pads, slide them right in there. Just one. Use a pry bar here to push the pistons back in. Here we have the first pin back installed. So we can put the metal spring back in place and put the second pin back in place. Hold everything back together. Here we have the new rotor. New pads installed there. Now I apologize for the lighting, it's night time, we're working on my friend's car here in the driveway. Just pressing the brakes here. Everything is ready to go, just had to put the wheel back on and uh, project is done. Alright guys, here we have the final product. New rotor and pads, both sides installed. Looks amazing. Uh, stay tuned guys for more videos on Evolution as well as the E36. Uh, in a few weeks here, about two weeks, we're going to be plasti dipping the wheels on the Evo X here. And I think it's going to turn out great. Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned and I'll keep you posted.